Hey, what's up? Everybody, it's Lee here at Iron Happy Tees. I'm the owner and operator. I'm here with my two assistants. Okay, I'm a ninja. Oh, a ninja. And I'm Lena. Lena, okay. And I am. Our aunt, our, my two ninjas, ninja my two nin ninjago ninjas and helpers today. So today we're going to take you through uh, step by step everything that I know about the Oki 8432 WT white toner printer. Um, and uh, I'll try not to make it too long, but I want to make sure that I give you all the information. I've done a lot more research, especially with the coloring process and everything of the printer and I'm, I'm sure that if you have one, if you're thinking about purchasing one, it'll definitely um, help enhance your business. Um, I would also say that it's not something I would say I would get a printer and say I'm going to start a t-shirt business because I got this printer. Um, I would also, you know, it's a part of it, yes, a, a good part of what I do, but I would um, recommend that you, if you're getting a printer, be a seri you're serious, more serious about the t-shirt business or, I mean, if you just really like to, you know, want a hobby or something like that, that'd be great too. But it, if you're if it's coming from t-shirt business, it is great, but I don't use it for everything. So it's not the end all cure all for everything. Some things I don't like with it, some things I do. And I just use different things for different, but it does allow me to be able to say yes to everyone if they want something full color. My business is uh, short orders. I do a lot of short orders. so. Um, and custom stuff so it does really work graphic designers I deal with a lot of graphic designers and you will love this because I have the uh, the rasterization uh, really figured out doing the whole um, COVID-19 thing so that's really getting uh, texture and stuff like that on the shirts but I'll go through all that during the uh, the presentation and uh, the step-by-step -step deal so let's get straight to it um, I'll try to give you all the details during it so I know um, I won't have that distraction but <laughs> Uh, but um, I'll try to give you guys all the details that I know about about the printer and what I've learned so far and if you want to actually um, purchase one um, I can get you the information where I got mine from um, I don't make any money off of these things so I just not any money from the company at least um, uh, so I just give you to you real and you could let you know take it for how it is and you can always contact me in my email and stuff down below here all right, so we're gonna get right to it. Mommy, I'm Lena, and this is the printer. All right, right there's the printer. It weighs about 80 pounds, um, and this is the. Uh, it's got several trays. Uh, I I use this tray, um, and uh, I, I can go over those little buttons here a little bit later. Uh, but this is a, a pretty lightweight um, for a printer that does the things that it does, um, and it looks pretty. Uh, you see it's the size desk it fits. I got my my uh, printer and my little laptop goes to it. Um, also, one thing about laptops, it does not it's not compatible to Mac. Max, make sure that you understand that. That's one of the biggest things. It's not compatible with Mac, so you have to buy a little. Um, I bought that uh, computer from Best Buy. I think like you know four hundred bucks, something like that. Um, just something that you know can work and it works fine with this. You know, I just uploaded the Photoshop on it and we're rolling. All right, and this here. You know, you remember me. I am Iron. All right, and that he Iron has the paper transfer paper. All right, so we use Forever Transfer Paper. You'll be able to see that um, in the bottom. It's a and there's an adhesive and it's the adhesive right there. Um, paper that goes along with it. So um, I'll show you that you have two different types. I actually, I think that's not the adhesive. I think that's the actually one step and uh, transfer paper and the uh, other one's a two step transfer paper. So um, you can get that information in the bottom also. All right. All right. So um, one thing I recommend everyone getting, well, I mean, really recommend everyone getting is this transfer rip software. This right here. You want to make sure you get this because, um, and they don't pay me either or anything, but um, because it will definitely um, help um, your images and it, you don't have to worry about like um, taking out backs and Photoshop and stuff like that. Um, you can do everything within this right here. I learned a lot of stuff 
about this, which I'll get, this is like an own tutorial in itself, um, but I'll stick to the basics of the transfer rip software and the most important things that you can just operate at any point. And once you start really getting into um, the transfer rip software and the color scheme and coloring and stuff like that, the, uh, you, that's allows, it took me a lot of time to play with for a while and I had to learn, I had some guys come over and uh, a guy come over and help me out. But um, during the COVID time, we've had a, I had a lot of time to be able to um, get into this. And this is a very important part of like the printer because a lot of times um, you can't really do the same as easy as you, you want to just get this, okay? I mean, that's just what I say, okay? All right, so um, we're gonna get right into it. Here we go. All right. Uh, first page in the RIP transfer software is step one, profile selection. You select the printer, go to select. Um, I'm gonna do two shirts, I'll do one so you can see how it works on dark shirts and it works on light shirts um, and the uh, difference in stuff like that. So um, let's see here, I'm picking the one, a nice colorful one so you guys, the first one will be for a light shirt, all right. And I just click on that. Actually, I want to do that one. Actually, I'll do this one first. All right, that's the one. Okay, so I'll click on, I'll go to the artwork, and the image will pop up. It takes you to page uh, uh, step three. So, right here on this image, um, just a little bit more. You can, you're able to see, you can control the brightness, the contrast, saturation, all those things that you have, you know, on Photoshop or CorelDRAW, whatever you use um, as your editing software. Um, and uh, you can do a lot of good things with this. I'll get that's a whole nother uh, deal. But on um, this one right here, this shirt right here, I'm just going to uh, move it over to the next step without doing anything to manipulate any colors at all. Actually, I think I do want to actually, I have it already pre-programmed pre, uh, on here to contrast. I put the uh, contrast up to 10 and the saturation up to five on this one. That's all I did on this one. You, but you can't take colors out um, and all kinds of things. So, but I'll get to that in another video, another time. But before your basic knowledge to operate this, this is all you really have to know to do it. I've been doing it for a while and I just really started getting into knowing more and more about this transfer software. All right. All right, so now um, this right here is a white shirt. This right here, this page four here is for your um, your like undertone color of white. So you can really fill in. You got a bunch of coverages here you can fill up. I usually keep it on about 150 if it's something white, but if it, you can keep it lower too, um, to save more toner. Um, but uh, if it's something dark, I usually use a higher color, a uh, higher uh, coverage so it's brighter. I want, it, want my whites to pop more on that black so it doesn't bleed through. So this is good and I could usually go up to about 250 coverage on that. So that's what that page is. Um, also, this preserve partial transparency, you have to click that button. If you don't click that button, that's a very key button. If you don't click that button, um, when you have people send over stuff or when they send you bad artwork, this button right here will help get rid of the white outline and stuff that prints around uh, the uh, artwork. It really helps that. Um, this underfill pixel does the same thing too. Um, actually, that's what the underpixel um, uh, does, underfill does. And also, this preserved partial transparency gives you, make sure you have that transparent feel because when you have white toner, the transparent part, if you put it in Photoshop, it will be more of a, um, a white color. So you have to make sure you preserve the partial transparency so you get all your blends in and gratings and stuff like that. And it makes a nice move for your uh, your final product. All right, we'll go to the next page. All right, this is your print page. And this is the most important page here. So right now we have this right here uh, for a screen for uh, for dark media, but we're gonna do a bright shirt. So we're gonna screen it for bright media. This right here, you're able to change a lot of things. You can have, you're gonna mask it, which is a very important thing. Masking is um, like how how much uh, percentage of, uh, like it gives you a, a, a more dense, like the, the dots will be a little bit 
further apart or the rasterization dots will be closer together. So um, you're good, your best percentage is about 30 to 25. I typically do about 30 because I like to um, have, make sure my images are really nice and sharp. But um, 25 is actually really good too. It just all depends on what you um, prefer. Um, the next one is um, the, sh the, the tolerance, uh, shadow tolerance, that right there. Um, it takes, gives you more black, how much black, more black you wanna put in, uh, if you wanna take out darkness in it. So the higher your percentages starts at 100. I usually keep mine anywhere between 100 and one, uh, 115 and 150. And, but like I said, this whole transfer of software is definitely another um, um, video. Um, the uh, user type for this paper um, it says user type two, and this is forever transfer paper that I use. This is, uh, I used to use another one, but I like this one better. It's, it's actually cheaper and um, they get it, I mean, pretty good, they get a pretty good time. It's a company over in the UK, and I'll put that down, like I said, in the comments also. So, um, the media type, uh, user type two, this is what this calls for. I use a multi purpose tray, and um, the shape dots. Okay, you have different types of shape dots. Um, you can have, you have uh, um, Euclidean, round, square, and elliptical. It's all kinds of dots that um, you can have in this, and I'll show you that on, that's another video, but this is for the rasterization, and this is one of the most important things that you can have for this uh, part of it, because the rasterization is gonna give you a soft to touch feel, so it's, you know, you don't have to feel the, it's not all paper and baggy, which I just really found out that um, during this COVID um, time. So now, um, um, I also, I don't need a preview right now, but I'll go ahead and print this out so you guys can see this and uh, we'll get you on the net. Oh yeah, let me just go ahead and go to the preview. We'll come back because it takes a little bit for this to upload and so we can, I'll show you that before we get to the next part. This is the preview page. As you can see, it's, uh, it's actually uh, uh, backwards because you have to print it reverse. Um, so you put it on the actual sheet, but um, this is the preview page and it is helps you be able to see the different colors that are in in the actual um, uh, there so it shows you all your colors your cyan, cyan um, magenta it's yellow and it's got your spot color white there so and you you can't see the obvious blank but you go down here and hit this um, all uh, separation black then you'll be able to see what look what white is there in the shirt everything else is clear is um, automatically already white because I put it on white media so that was that and you can play with this and you can take it make it bigger and go way really close to it um, you'll be able to see all the really close to how the dots are if you want to look at the dots and stuff like that that's a really good way of doing that um, I put that way too big but let's go back here yeah so you can see how those dots um, are shaping up in the image so it's a pretty cool uh deal to um just make sure it just lets you see how it's all gonna look really close on the shirt um even though these dots may show here but on the actual finished product you know it, it really blends in really really well and you'll be able to see that here too all right all right, now I showed you that. I'm gonna go ahead and hit print. I'm gonna print out both of these images. Um, I think I, ha I'm, I gained a couple other things so I could show you a, a couple other images that, um, and show you how they turn out. So I'm gonna print both of those out and we'll come back. Print. All right, I believe my audio went out on this. Well, it did go out, I believe, but I'm sure I was saying something really awesome right here, but from the looks of it, I'm showing you the, um, I'm showing you the the dots and stuff, the clarity on it. Show you how um, it looks on the back side as soon as it comes out. Um, just show you know the print print work looks really really good. Um, and you can see the detail and all of that. So I just want to give you guys a good overview of uh, how it looks just before you apply the, the adhesive paper um, to the back of it when you're doing that. I printed out a couple other little things there too, so you can see that a couple of things I printed. And all this stuff come off the internet, all of it. I just pulled it off the internet to show how um, the images are with the printer.
Um, and this other picture here that I'm about to show you is another photo. So, you know, a lot of people get photos and stuff like that. Um, I took that off of uh, my friend, his boy, his daughter. Um, I took off the Facebook page and I just uh, you know, cropped it out. I didn't really do a lot of even detail too. I just um, took it out and did a little something with the um, with a background. Took it out and then just put it on there to show you how the clarity in that is. So it's really, really um, it'll get you the clarity that you need on that. Um, uh, other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. I'll go ahead and cut that one off. Oh yeah, um, I guess I was saying too that um, if uh, you are looking to try these out, you can please contact me. Hit me in the email. Um, the at I am happy tees. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm happy tees at gmail.com and I will respond to you. Email me any questions or anything like that. Or if you want, like I said, to try them out, purchase them, we can, uh, work out a deal there, especially if you, um, might not need it and you like want to kind of set, uh, in a kind of account with us. All right. All right. Um, this is the heat press that I use the Swingway um, night, uh, K 20 S. Um, this is the most important thing is the heat press. The heat press is the most important thing if you want this to work. If you don't have a heat press, if you won't get good transfers, it won't transfer to transfer paper well. Um, it just will be a nightmare for you. So just up front, get a good heat press. Um, my my uh, heat press was like I had was 250 bucks, but you can't, you know, it's hard to have a, you know, a six, a six, five hundred or seven thousand dollar piece of equipment and um, have a $250 heat press is not gonna work for you. Just being real. So if you're in it, I would just invest in a good solid heat press. It don't have to be this one, but this works for me. All right, we got the uh, transfer paper here. So you will take this two piece of paper. You got your A paper and your B paper. The B paper is the adhesive. This is the stuff that makes it stick on the shirt and makes it uh, bind to the shirt and it picks it, uh, puts it back on the back of uh, your image here. So you always wanna put it on the the uh, little fuzzier side, I guess you'd call it. Um, put those two in and then go to pressing. First, you want to make sure that you preheat because the heat on the bottom is just as important as the heat on the top here in this case. So make sure that you're preheating um, for a minute or so. I already did this before. I'm just doing it one more time because that is uh, also a very important part because you got want you want to make sure you have good solid transfers every time. See so some line this up here. Set it down there, and you want to have it on your temperature at uh, your temperature needs to be at um, 320 degrees for two minutes. 322 minutes, and I like to rub mine down with. A, make sure you have a piece of towel or something a cloth with you so you can do that. I um, almost forgot my transfer paper. Put that on there. <clears throat> Two minutes, and we'll be back. All right, we're back. Almost done. Right there. All right, you want to make sure you go. You pretty quick. Where you don't want to lose your heat. You don't have to be like extremely fast, but you want to make sure that you uh, get to it in time. I always have my cloth right here. I make sure I peel up my little edge there, make sure you don't burn yourself. Put your cloth down, and you want to pull diagonally and low at the same time. It, it's kind of a skill to get, but um, it does pretty well pretty much every time. See here. Right. Every now and then you get a, a one like this right here, which doesn't do... Right here, so I'm glad this happened right here. This will happen sometimes here. So you can see on this part here, on this side, it didn't come out because you can see it left something on this top one here. Luckily, I already had one, but that'll happen from time to time. That just tells me, and this right here, that my heat is a little bit too high. So I need to put my heat down. That's why I say I always try different ones, but um, I need to put it at about 310 to make sure that happens. But that's, this right here never really comes off on the shirt or anything. Um, but that right there, see, that's one you can't really use because of those two images. So it needs to be like this one. If you look at this right here, see everything in it, all the, um, where the adhesive has taken uh, place of it. And then I'll show you the actual other one here 
in a second here. Um, if I can find it, I'll uh, show it to you. All right. I got the paper here. It's rolled underneath the thing. So here it is right here. You can see where those two things didn't, didn't uh, connect to the adhesive. That will happen. And for the most part, unless it covers a spot where you didn't, um, which that's the same color, it's not going to work out for you. So that will happen. I spent probably a good month of like frustrating with that. And that's why I talk about heat press stuff. But that typically doesn't happen very often. And uh, as you'll see on the next one, it, it does it pretty well. So, um, and like I said, that was my first one. I just, heat, I never really heat the press up, um, get going like that. So who knows? All right. It just ended. <clears throat> Had on a couple seconds longer. The second one, the second one here. Let's see. Uh, let's get the feet get it there use your rag a towel or anything but make sure get you a diagonal slow peel there to make sure that is all the way through and peel all the way through down and low just like that it should come off to nice and clean so you can see this here is the back of it how the adhesive goes to that and see, and you know if something didn't happen right, because you'll see the uh, peel that didn't go all the way right. So, and it's, here's the front side of it. So you can see the transparency there. All the whites are out. You see, let's see how close that is. I don't want to get loose focus. But uh, there you go. That's a um, good pen. And all this stuff, like I said, is internet. I just put the letters in. All this stuff is internet stuff, though. Just so you know, you can look at the Boss Baby too. You can see how that one. Take the holes in there. All right. All right. Now that we have our uh, our um, artwork and our design, so I have like basically three. I gang these up, you know. So I have basically three shirts on one sheet here. So um, cut. You just cut the design out here. You want to make sure you cut around. Cause that film does leave like a white residue on the edge right there so you make sure you cut all the edges because you don't you don't want that on your shirt it can you can get it off with like heat tape by with pressing it with the actual uh, clothes but you don't want to have to really deal with that we just cut it off right nice there Full design, and I'll cut the other one up, and then we'll go pressing. All right, I got my shirt up, lined up like I want it. To press 15 seconds at 320 degrees. All right, guys, we're back here. Uh, I did the whole thing, and I did not know that the battery on the audio had went out, so I had to do it over again. I, I did the um, press on the other ones and made the shirts, but I'll show you those at the end, but I still want to show you the process for this one. So I printed out something new here. I want to print this out for a little bit anyway. So I went and just found this online here, set this up, found this here online also. I'm gonna put this together and press it and then uh, show you the results. All right, we'll be back. All right, once again, we uh, have did the, uh, the pull, peel off and everything, as you can see here, check out the back. Also, once again, check out this here, this is the adhesive paper, how it transfers onto the ink on the uh, transparent paper. All right, and now we're gonna press the shirt and I'll be able to show you because the audio works now. All right, we're ready to press the shirt. As you can see here, we got it all lined up. And I'm pretty excited about this one because I didn't know I'd be able to make this one right now, so cool. All right, now we're back. We just pressed it here. I'm going to show you guys how to uh, peel. So when you take, you want to peel it um, diagonal and just keep it really low. You take the corner, make sure you leave when you cut. Make sure you can peel that. As a matter of fact, I got more here, so I'm going to probably turn this around here and peel this way. Make sure it's still in the camera. Yep, all right. Peel this way here. It's got that. Hold it down and just... Slide it back just like this here, and it'll come right off. You want to hear the little crackling now noise? That's the noise that lets you know there's 
and it's uh, peeling off the right way. Simple, just like that. Alrighty. All right, and now we're here with all the finished products. Got Lena and I am back in. Say hey, guys. Hey, hey, folks. <laughs> hey, folks. Hey, folks. <laughs> all right, so I, I got this one here that I already did that we actually did not get to uh, look at, but look at that there. See the colors in that one? It's like really nice. It's like the white, you know, it takes, it takes out a lot of white. So those dots make it really soft to the touch, really. So it's not, doesn't give you a really baggy feel. So you feel that there? Here, look, I am showing them yours. All right. See that there? I lean this show them yours. Nice, nice there. A little more black in this one. So it's got a little more black in it, but when I'm a little more black in it, it's more solid. So it'll give it more of a baggy feel on this one right here. But like on, in a certain place, it's really soft like this is all white. If we can go here, I'll show you up here a little closer. I don't know if you can see that, but we'll see. All right. And one more. You got this right here. This pressed on here. You see, this is a little a shiny on that because it's but it all rasterized all the way through because um, this is just the setting that I put this one on. And it's, uh, so it's not as solid as that black was. It's, this is rasterized, rasterized all the way through. And um, what, what I'll do is go back and press this for 10 seconds. And when I press this for 10 seconds, um, it'll give it a matte finish. So I'm gonna do that right now. And while that, Lena and I am will tell you to go to uh, our YouTube and subscribe. Go. Okay, so like it if you like it, and if you like it, then the something else. And if you go to I Am Happy Tees, you can like buy a shirt. Yep, I Am Happy Tees what? Happy dot what? Dot com. I Am Happy Tees dot com. We got a bunch of cool shirts there you can buy. Yeah, if you All right, high five, Iron. Good job, buddy. Let me better high five now. High five, Lena. A shirt. Right. All right. And I'm almost done with this one. Dad, I want to have a shirt. Just come here. All right. And here's the last one right there. So you can feel that. I mean, well, you can't feel it, but it's uh, really nice. It's nice to the touch. Good to the touch. Stretches really nicely. Um, it's probably gonna last you a good, uh, this will last you about a good 15 to 20 wash. They say 30, but I say about 15 to 20 washes. Um, I am got this one on right here. It's probably been, not this one right here. Let me show you. Move your shirt we got on. Right there. That one's right there. Made them, so that one lasted probably about, uh, that's about, about 20 washes there too. So, um, hopefully guys, you like this information. Oh, you made your shirt with vinyl though. But your shirt is cool though. Her shirt is really cool. We'll show yeah. hers too. The siblings. There you go. I can be a skateboarder. Okay. All right. So, hope you guys enjoyed all the content and everything. So, um, all information where I got the stuff will be down in the comment area. Like Lena and I am said, like it, please. And um, if you do want to uh, purchase anything or you want to sample it, sample it, please email me at iamhappytees at gmail.com. Also, if you did really like the con um, the uh, content for our business, we do support um, our nonprofit that we co-founded. It's called On My Genius Campaign. Our mission is to help prevent negative life outcomes for for especially black boys in our Charlotte area here. So, and we do that through um, mentorship, through building up the self-awareness, self-confidence, and self-worth. So I'll put the link down there to the website there. You can donate to that, because that's what we do in the community. That's where we try to make our biggest impact is teaching entrepreneurship, all right? So we're all done. Peace, I'm all happy tease. You I'm happy tease, we're all connected. Good. Yeah, it is really good. It feels really good. All right. You fit good. <laughs> All right. See y'all next time. Bye. See Bye. Peace. Bye, folks. Peace. Peace. Bye, folks. Mm -hmm. Have a nice video.